guess what? I've got a new script to mark up. Hi, and welcome back to Music and Theatre Education. Today, I'm going to show you how I mark up a script. Now, there's not one way of doing this, but hopefully this will give you some ideas of how to get started. First thing you need to do is check what sort of marks you can put on your script. Can you put permanent marks? If it's a hired script, the answer is generally no. You're going to need to write in pencil and be able to erase it at the end. But today I'm working with a photocopied script so I can write on it as much as I like. Okay, here's my script. So I have a photocopied script this time. Um, but even when I have a proper copy, I like to have a photocopy. Uh, that doesn't matter if it gets permanently marked. I always like to get mine bound rather than stapling it. Uh, it keeps the script in better condition. Otherwise, if it's stapled, pages always rip off and things like that. You can get it done at uh, lots of print shops, things like Officeworks. Or if your director is kind, like mine was, they may even do it for you. Now, I also gave myself a little front page. Um, so that I can easily find it at rehearsals too if it gets put down. So first thing I like to do is to mark where I have dialogue and my stage directions. So I'll do my um, where I'm speaking in one colour and stage directions I underline in another colour. Some people like to highlight all of their dialogue, but I just like to mark where my parts come in. It's all up to personal preference. I've done some of it already, but I'm going to go to a new section and keep going. The other thing that I will do is I'll mark where each scene is with these little flags. So I'll use a different color for act one and for act two. Okay, now these flags are fairly delicate, especially if you're throwing a script in and out of a bag. So what I like to do is to tape it. You can see that it'll start to go all the way along and then if you've got opposite colors as well for act one and act two um, that's going to make it really easy to find the page that you need so i'd go through and do all of that but i'll just show you a couple other things i use to mark up my script okay so there's a few different symbols and things that i use when i'm marking out my script so if i need a particular word to be emphasized i'll give it an underline if it's a long section of dialogue and I want to put in a pivot point, so that's where there's like a change of mood or a change of tone, the way I mark it up is I put a line where um, I want the break to be and then I put a line going outwards and then to the other side and that is my pivot point. If I've got a break so, or a beat, I'll use a double slash, so this symbol. I'll use for a beat. Now, it doesn't matter what symbol you use, as long as you know what it means. Um, you see, I've already started writing a couple of notes on pronunciation. Here's another way I have marked something up. So there's a particular word um, that I need to react to. So the word girl, I've circled and put a star. This is not really a lot of space to write there. I've put the star down here. If you have lots of stars, what you can do is do like a star and then put a one, so you know which bit you're referring to. Um, and I'll write extra notes on this later. It's always really useful to have um, extra space on your script or often when I'm photocopying my own script, I'll have the script on one side and then blank page on the other. So then I can write, I've got more space for writing notes. Okay, final thing. I'm going to give you some shorthand ways um, of writing your stage directions. So for example, here I've got Polly moves over to the bar. But at some point, I'm going to need to write notes as to where that bar is. These are the important words. So S is for stage. D is for down. U is for up. L is for left. 
R is for right. So using these combinations of letters, I can write my stage directions really easily. So moving over to the bar, if I'm going to be going, let's pretend it's upstage right. So I'm going to write U, S, R. But let's say I exited here, I'd go exit, down, stage, left. It's just a nice shorthand way to help me remember where my entrances and exits are, but it doesn't take up a lot of space. I hope that gave you some ideas about how to mark up your script. If it did, give us a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep on that theatre adventure.